With Tales of the Jedi recently being released on Disney+, Plus, we've got a few thoughts on the Jedi Master Yaddle. She actually might be the worst character in the show. Why? For what reason? Well, we're going to talk you through our thought process. Now, let us preface this by saying that Yaddle isn't necessarily a bad character. On the contrary, it's nice to see another of Yoda and Grogu's species. She seems to be a genuinely good and powerful Jedi, so much so that she made her way onto the Jedi Council. She is a good character in the Star Wars universe, but in the show, she's easily our least favorite, and we have some genuinely good reasons why. Tales of the Jedi consisted of six episodes, three dedicated to various stages of Ahsoka Tano's life, and three dedicated to Dooku and his fall to the dark side. Jedi Master Yaddle appears in the third part of Dooku's story, which is actually the fourth episode. In the episode, we see that she is still on good terms with Dooku, despite him having already left the Order several years prior. Dooku was still welcome in the temple and well respected, and Yaddle treated him like an old friend. Because that's what he was. The show sees the aftermath of him having learned of Qui-Gon Jinn's death. Yaddle tries to comfort him in the cold and distant way that Jedi do, something that didn't go unappreciated by the soon-to-be Sith Apprentice. It is time to let him go. And you can do this. Still, Yaddle suspects something and follows Dooku across Coruscant to the abandoned industrial sector of the planet, known as the Works. This same location can be seen at the end of Attack of the Clones. It is here in the Tales of the Jedi episode where Dooku and Darth Sidious meet. Yaddle sneaks into the chamber and listens in on the conversation. And it's right about here that things really start to go south for the tiny Jedi Master. No. This ends here, Sith Lord. She walks out and reveals herself to Dooku and Darth Sidious. Why? For what reason does she feel compelled to do such a thing? There are plenty of other ways in which she could have handled the situation that could have drastically changed the fate of the entire galaxy. Firstly, she could have remained in the shadows and tried to gather as much information as possible. She could have then gone back to the council and relayed all of the information, implicating Dooku and bringing them one big step closer to uncovering the Sith plot. She would have survived and been hailed as a hero of the Jedi Order for shedding a lot more light on the plot. Okay, maybe Yaddle felt compelled to reach out to Dooku right there in the abandoned warehouse chamber to try to reason with him. You were right about so many things. The council should have listened. They were on good terms, after all. We can get behind her reasoning there. But why does she not call for backup and have more Jedi join her to confront the fallen Jedi and the Sith Lord? She missed the perfect opportunity to cut the head off of the snake, or because she confronted Dooku alone, without any backup. Alternatively, if she really had to confront Dooku alone, Yaddle could have at least discreetly turned her communicator on or sent a live message to the Jedi Council. Yes, the diminutive Jedi Master might still have been killed by Dooku that day, but a sacrifice would not have been in vain, and she would have put the greater good before her own life. But it seems that Yaddle did neither of those things either. She walked out in front of the two plotting accomplices and faced them down. She engaged in a lightsaber battle with Dooku before finally meeting her end at his blade. Perhaps her decision to go it alone was down to hubris or maybe even arrogance. The Jedi are not above such things, and even in Attack of the Clones, Yoda admits to it being a flaw more and more common among Jedi. Did Yaddle think that she could single-handedly fold the Sith plot, convert Dooku back to the light side, and defeat Darth Sidious? Was this a possibility that was running through her little green head? Whatever you have done, you can make up for it now by bringing him to justice. Well, we're not going to deny that this was a noble gesture, and we have to give her points for having the guts to pull such a ballsy move, but it was ultimately pointless and one of the worst decisions in the history of bad decisions from the Jedi. She let victory slip through her fingers and paid the ultimate sacrifice. On top of that, it's not like her death served any good in the long run. Quite the opposite, actually. Not only was the plan not foiled, and not only did she allow Darth Sidious to get away, but she also pushed Dooku even further towards the dark side. Up until that point, Dooku had never killed another Jedi. There was still that pure streak inside him, albeit a fading one. Kill her. But when Darth Sidious ordered Dooku to kill her, it snuffed out the last bit of light that remained in the former Jedi. Here's how we'd have played it if we were in Yaddle's shoes. We would have called for backup while also sending a live and discreet, hollow recording to the Jedi Temple. The other Jedi could have arrived and faced off against Dooku and Sidious. 
perhaps Dooku could have been redeemed and turned back to the good. Perhaps not, but the main point is that the Jedi and the light side would have had a much better fighting chance. But as it is, Yaddle dropped the ball and doomed the galaxy. Dooku became a Sith Lord, Darth Sidious continued to plot, the galaxy-wide Clone Wars erupted, and the Brutal Empire was formed, which eventually morphed into the equally brutal First Order. Billions, if not trillions, of people died, and for close to 70 years, there was nothing but darkness and dictatorship. Yaddle might have had the best intentions in the world, but she couldn't have messed things up any worse if she tried. And for those reasons, we think that she is truly the worst character in Tales of the Jedi. So you doubt his claim? No, I do not. So do you think Yaddle was the worst character of the show? Answer with yes or no in the comments section down below. Leave a reason too, it's always fun to read your theories. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe to never miss an upload. And as always, may the Force be with you.